Well, David, uh, right hand front. Uh, welcome to San Diego. I'm just curious what fight week has been like for you here. I, I, I believe your last few fights were in the Apex, correct? So now yeah. that fans are back in attendance, you're getting the full UFC fight week experience on the road. What has fight week been for you? Uh, fight week has uh, been really good uh, for me. Uh, you know, I'm in uh, San Diego. Uh, you know, it's beautiful out here, man. The weather's perfect. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward for it uh, this weekend, you know. Last, uh, last of my three fights been at the, you know, UFC, uh, you know, Apex, uh, you know, and I love it there, you know, I love fun at the Apex, uh, you know, very less crowd, uh, so, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, looking forward for this, uh, you know, for this, uh, what's it called, for this week, you know, in uh, San Diego, and, you know, never been here, like I said, so, you know, I'm looking forward for that. Do you prefer the light crowds in the Apex, or do you prefer, like, the sold-out arenas? Uh, I like... I like I like them both, but the light crowd you can kind of hear more of your like your corner man, and you know your coaches, uh, you know, and I, I kind of like that one a little bit better because I can hear pe I, I I can hear more clear, uh, and like when I get the fans, it's, you know, you really can't hear much because you know the fans are going crazy. So I I enjoy the Apex and you know with fans too. So. Correct me if I'm wrong, but were you guys matched up at one point? Maybe you slot in to replace his opponent or vice versa, and then it just didn't happen. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to fight in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, you know, I don't know what happened, so uh, that switched. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, for this weekend. I'm glad we're, uh, we get to uh, fight again. So, you know, happy for that. And then you're obviously coming off an impressive submission when he's coming off of, I think, an anaconda choke. So what do you make yeah. of his skill set in there? Uh, I'm sorry? What do you make of Nate's skill set in there? Uh, man, I feel like I'm better than this guy everywhere. Like, I'm very well-rounded. Uh, I'm just better than him. I feel like this is going to be a tough fight for him. I'm going to be one of his toughest opponents. So, you know, I'm excited for it. And you got a new four-fight deal. Did I see that on Instagram? Yeah, so I how, did. <laughs> how, happy you with, how happy are you with the new deal? I'm very happy with the deal, man. Uh, you know, I'm happy with it. Uh, you, know, all, you know, everything I put in, you know, in the gym and, you know, just winning the fights. Uh, you, know, like, you know, hard work is finally starting to pay off, you know. So I'm loving the new deal. Uh, I'm very excited, and I can't wait, you know, to set out the, you know, the fourth one. So is, is James Krause still in your corner for this one? Uh, it's going to be James Krause, uh, Ben Elmore, and uh, Jeff Molina. Did you get any work with uh, Brandon Moreno while he was in there? I did. Yeah. So what's it like having him in the gym now? Now that you do have an, uh, James Krause finally has that UFC gold in his gym. For oh his man, coach. it means a lot having a, you know, a champion in our gym. You know, that guy helped me out so much with, uh, you know. Just training, uh, you know, his wrestling, uh, jiu-jitsu. So I've learned a, a lot from him ever since he's been in the gym. You know, not just me, but literally everybody in the gym, uh, you know, got like got very good, you know, because he, you know, he leveled up a lot of guys since he came to the gym, you know, and we learned a lot from him. So it's always good having him in the gym. Uh, you know, we finally got a, you know, world champion uh, at Glen Airman Fitness. So, you know, that's very good. I was just curious, having previously gotten to prep for Nate a little bit, even though the fight didn't come back, just did you just kind of like revisit the work that you had done previously, or was there new stuff that you felt like, hey, we're going to add this to the camp and even make it better? Uh, yeah, so I already knew about Nate. So when I got uh, when I got the fight offered, uh, you know, I wasn't surprised because I already studied everything about uh, about Nate. Uh, you know, it was nothing new to me. You know, we just got right back to you know just doing us and. You know, right back, you know, back, back to training, you know. So, you know, nothing changed, you know. And now you guys have been moved very close, you know, essentially co-main event status. Uh, yeah. Just how does that feel knowing, hey, like, the fans are going to be there f with the full house by the time your fight rolls around? Yep. Uh, you know, being a co-main event is very exciting for me. It's my first uh, co-main event in a UFC. Uh, you know, the UFC know what they're doing. I'm a very exciting fighter, and, you know, I bring fireworks. You know, this is why I'm on the co-main event, because they know what I bring, you know, on fight night, you know. So I can't wait for it, man. You know, I work my butt off to get to where I'm at, you know. So I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Right on. Thank you.